I was thinking that how was my babies going to eat? And oh, am I going to have a job? Those were Jeanette Bell's first worries in March of 2020. The cafeteria manager at Dunbar High School has been here for 40 years, and it turns out not working wasn't an option. She's been busier than ever alongside her staff preparing meals for students and their families. Like today they're having turkey meatballs and sauce. It was a year ago when I remember we got, you know, the notice that we would be closing schools. We immediately sprang into action. We had 18 um, schools activated as emergency sites the following Monday. And those ran for what we thought was going to be, you know, two weeks initially. The first week we probably served 1,600 meals that whole week. Right now we're doing over 34,000 meals a day. And school district officials say the need is growing. By September, the district had opened more than 80 locations like Dunbar, providing not just one meal, but a bag of food to last two days and more. We have supplementary produce boxes um, at sites throughout the city that contain a variety of fruits and vegetables that families can take home. We have served over 3.4 million meals um, since this time last year. We've served over 2.5 million meals since September. That's just a fraction of the 15 million served in school during a regular school year. And for Mrs. Bell and the entire staff, working during the pandemic gives them a sense of pride, being able to help when and where it's needed most. Some of the parents don't lost their jobs. So that's another reason why it's important. Some of them don't eat unless they are at school. So that motivates me to come in every day, do the best I can. The school system is already making plans to distribute meals this summer and into the fall if necessary. In Baltimore, Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.